Hi friends, thank you for leading this week. I have no idea what it is, but I'll know by the time we date this. Um, we are in our first week of actual books of the Bible for this summer. So over the course of the summer, we're going to cover each of the divisions of the Bible, just kind of going through um, an overview of what scripture is, where to find things, but also um, helping children understand the meta narrative of scripture, that, that it's not hundreds of thousands of little bit of individual stories, but that they all point to Jesus, that the entire scripture has one focal point. So this week we're starting with the Pentateuch or the books of the law. And um, we are using a pre-written curriculum and kind of tweaking it from there. So the main point will be from Genesis 17. I'll go through each of the five books of uh, the Pentateuch or the law and kind of explain what they are, showing the posters on the wall, um, go over what the meta narrative is. And uh, I don't, yeah, how long these take will just be kind of how many questions they have. So the younger kids, what we'll be doing is using these Phil Vischer um, Bibles and he has um, just short writings on each of the divisions, which are really, really good. So we'll kind of play it by ear to see if we keep bigger kids out and younger kids in the room the whole time and kind of teach that way or if we can swap, which I think we should have ability to do. Application activities. So in physical, uh, what we're gonna try this time is a different game, essentially for each of the books, all on the same theme. So one of the games will be, I put the plates away already, um, We'll be using these plates or lids or whatever we have at the time with books of the Bible written on them. We have four sets, so you'll divide into four, four teams. So there's plates with the books written on them. And uh, first game is start at the beginning because this one's about Genesis. And they're going to pull pull the, the plate. There'll be multiple kids, so they'll pull one out of the bucket, um, run down to the other end, and put it in order. So whoever's first is going to put theirs where they think it is. So it'll be super easy. Um, they will play the game twice. In every game, they will play twice because Leviticus and Deuteronomy are both where God gives them the law and he has to give it to them again because they didn't learn it the first time. So every game will be played twice. Um, but the last person who's, who's going needs to make sure that they're in the right order before the team can be out and sit down. Uh, second game is on Exodus. It's called Get My People Out. And uh, it's about God rescues his people from Egypt. This one's super easy too. Those plates are gonna come back to the bucket, mix them up so they're not in order, pull them out. Make sure you have Genesis first. You're gonna toss it Frisbee style to the bucket at the other end of the room. If it doesn't make it, they may go get it. They can try twice and then third time they just walk it over and put it in there, trying to get all five books into that bucket. Play it twice. Uh, Law and order. I have printed out a list of a whole slew of Old Testament laws. I did try to go through and cut the ones out that were sexually related. If I missed some, sorry. Um, but you can uh, read them and go, is this real? Is this false? And you can make some up or whatever as you're going to let them vote. Is this a real one or a fake one? Because um, there's some really super weird things. Bringing unauthorized fire before God. That's weird. He will smite you is evidently the consequence for that. Um, last game, so you can call that, you know, let them get to two points a team or something like that and then start over again for your two times. Count it up is the last game uh, because it's focused on the book of numbers. Uh, the teams will be in corners. They're going to wad up uh, paper and throw it, place the whole trash in your backyard or whatever game it is. They're going to try to throw it into each other's corners keeping their area as clear as possible. And then at the end, you'll count up how many balls you have in your team's area. So um, that'll be physical for creative. They're gonna have big paper. We're gonna encourage them to draw either big, you know, what every cartoon picture looks like of stone tablets. If they don't wanna do it that way, they do it another way or a scroll. And then they're gonna draw a picture 
of how um, these five books represent the uh, meta narrative of the Bible. What about them? So uh, Adam and Eve, they sin. God promises that one day he is going to send um, someone, one of their descendants, to conquer Satan, his rescue plan. Um, and that is Jesus. Uh, second, God rescues his people from slavery in Egypt. He has them sacrifice lambs and put it over their door as a representative of the perfect sacrifice that will one day be sent by God. This perfect sacrifice is Jesus. And then God promised Moses that he would one day send a prophet who would be able to fulfill and keep all of the law in and of himself. That is Jesus. So um, they can do their, their pictures based on that. We'll also have pictures each week of each of the books of the Bible that um, are really cool because they've got the pictures inside of, you know, it says Genesis, but then it's also got pictures of creation and things like that in it. So it kind of represents what the book is about. So you can do that if you need to fill some time. Uh, for our physical group, we also have some different worksheets each week for these Old Testament divisions. If you run out of, out of stuff to do, you can give them those and, and work through um, the different puzzles and things like that on what those books are about. So again, thank you for leading. That is what we're doing this week.